Terrence, uh, how are you feeling? Fight week? Then, um, guys, I'm feeling great. Fight week, main card, weight's good. I'm excited, ready to go for this one. Absolutely. Yeah, and I can sense that excitement. Uh, does this feel different? This feel, this feel special? Yeah, man, uh, being on the main card, working your life to get where you want to be, seeing the fruits of your labor. I mean, I'm all smiles, uh, well prepared. Three weeks, eight weeks, uh, completely different me, completely different fight. Yeah, and once you got the name Raul Rosas, you know, uh, thrown your way, what were your original thoughts? What were your impressions of, of Raul? Yeah, uh, so obviously he's uh, 18, I think 19 now, youngest guy on the roster. I respect it a lot. Like I just mentioned, uh, I've been working my ass off to get here and to be here. So I respect it that he's already, you know, here. But uh, I'm looking to take all his fans, all his shine. And, uh, you know, I think he has a bright future ahead of him. But I'm looking to stop the train right here, right now. Yeah. And I believe he's still a teen, 18. I'm not uh, quite sure. Is it weird to fight an 18-year-old, a teenager? Is that weird? You know, no, not, not in this sport, man. Uh, you come in all the time, the next up-and-coming guy, you ask him, well, how old are you? You know, you might be 19, 20, 23. I'm 33 now. So age doesn't matter in the sport. It's a rough sport, tough sport, and I know he's ready for it. I'm ready for it. I've been doing it since I was 18. He's here at 18. That's the only difference. Yeah. Um, and a lot, obviously a lot has been made of Raul, a lot of it because of his, his age, and he's done quite well. In fact, you know, not so long ago he was undefeated. But a, a lot of the conversation surrounding him is, yes, he's good, but should he be in the UFC? Um, what do you make of him? Like, if you look at his skills, do you feel like he's UFC caliber? You know, that, that's all the fans, right? They, they tell you, oh, this guy's in the UFC, this guy's not. Uh, last weekend's pay-per-view, right? Sean Strickland can't do it, you know, four to one in a title fight. Uh, so the people will always say, oh, he doesn't belong, he doesn't belong, and all that stuff. So I, I don't think he's listening to it. I'm definitely not listening to it. So that doesn't bother me one bit. Yeah. And uh, looking at, at him, obviously, you know, at, at where he's at now, and you've been doing this for quite a while. Um, could you imagine yourself at 18 being in the UFC? Absolutely, man. I, like I said, I started when I was 18. I had the same mindset. I thought I would never lose. Then I, you know, stumbled, had my two losses in a row. And then uh, I went on a tear, you know, just got way better. Yeah, you win or you learn, you know. And that's what happened with me, and that's what I'm going to do to him. Yeah. And uh, lastly, uh, how do you see this matchup going? How do you think you match up with him? And, and yeah, what do you think are your advantages for this fight? So uh, I think I match up well with everybody. I'm a decently big guy. I'm a long guy. I can do everything. It's just up to me to perform, and I can beat any of these guys. I know that. My team knows that. I just got to prove it to all you guys Saturday night. You mentioned over here in front. You mentioned that um, you never lose. You learn. What did you learn in your last fight? You know, uh, my last fight, it's just always stay ready, always be ready. The call's coming. Um, that's, uh, that's it. You know, you win and you learn. I it had three weeks to prepare for it. He's got a bright future ahead of him, too. Uh, it just is what it is sometimes. Would that keep you from maybe taking another short notice fight? Absolutely not. Uh, we're uh, always working, always ready. Uh, I just could have been uh, pushing the pace a little bit more, uh, but I'm working a side job too. So it was like got the call while I was at the job, then, you know, leave the job to go train. So it was, uh, it was a whirlwind for three weeks. Then I had to get medicals done. It, it was a lot. It was a lot, but uh, you went and you learned. What's your side job? Are you still doing it? Yeah, uh, I'm a salesman at Reliable Appliance. I'm now uh, part-time because, uh, obviously, this is the main focus. This is where I want to be. This is what I want to do. And, uh, you know, after this fight, after a win, uh, you know, we're looking to just be full-time, all-in into this. It's what I've been here working my ass off for. And, you know, this fight is obviously in, in Vegas, not Mexico, but it does have a big, strong Mexican crowd that's coming. And you're fighting a man who his heritage is Mexican. So in a way, you're almost entering enemy territory. What do you think of that? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm all smiles. I'm going to love it. I, I know they're going to boo me. I saw them all checking in yesterday. They're all looking at me. They, they already know. I already know. A fight's a fight, though, guys. It's like, boo me, cheer me. I'll bleed. He'll bleed. That's what it is. 
In the past, we've heard some fighters say that they have uh, people that will heckle them during their sparring to kind of prepare for that. Have you done anything like that? No, I, I don't I don't hear the crowd. I hear my coaches. Uh, everyone, I mean, you guys all hear, you guys have been doing this, asking questions. Oh, knee him, elbow him whenever you have a guy in a position. Everyone, Everyone's the best fighter in the world on the outside, right? Thank you. Terrence, over here. You're welcome. Terrence, as many people may know, you actually competed on The Ultimate Fighter Season 24 that took place in 2016. Mm -hmm. Fast forward to 2023, you finally find yourself in the UFC. How's that road been like for you, knowing that it's been seven years since your first appearance on Tough? Yeah, man, uh, exactly like we're talking about. He's 18. When I started, I was 18. So I always wanted to be the champ. That was the whole thing. 125 wasn't new for me, but it was not a hard cut, but harder. And I always told myself... I want to be a champ, so any opportunity, and if you remember, 2016, that was the Ultimate Fighter Champions, right? So I really wanted to make my mark, win that tournament, beat Demetrius Johnson, and uh, be a flyweight champ. Just, that's what we're in here for, to be the world champ. Oh, so you mentioned you originally wanted to be the flyweight champ. You faced Kai Car France on that season. What's it like seeing how far he's come now? Oh, man, he, great guy. That whole season, man, I have nothing bad to say. Those guys... Everyone and seeing his career, seeing him fight for the belt has been amazing, has been awesome, and just validation that you know I am good and uh, you know stuff happens in a fight. Awesome, thank you. Absolutely, thank you. Hey, Terrence, um, <clears throat> what were you doing during your, your five year layoff from 2018 to 2023? So, uh, I was just training, helping people prepare, uh, just figuring out, seeing uh, you know where I was at, you know, because if you're not going to be the best, why do it, right? And that was kind of my mindset. And then I woke up one day, texted my coach, like, man, let's, let's do this. So let's, let's get after this. And he's like, we're really doing this? And, you know, pedal to the metal. I think this is going to be my fifth fight this year, uh, second one in the UFC. Man, I uh, just chose to turn it around for myself, and I did. I know that there were a couple canceled fights in, in, in between that, but were you offered a lot of fights, or, or were you just kind of, kind of soul-searching? Soul no, uh, you know, uh, with the pandemic, too, it made it kind of easy, right? So there was no fights in my hometown. There's still no fights, really. And then same with travel restrictions, right? So it wasn't so much uh, I chose, but the pandemic was certainly hard to get fights and come by fights if you weren't in uh, the biggest organization. Thanks, man. Absolutely. Darren, thanks for taking the time. Uh, you mentioned earlier that it's a completely different me. Could you please elaborate on that? A completely different me? Uh, I said eight weeks. My confidence is here. I, man, I'm ready to go tomorrow, today, tonight, 10 minutes. All the difference, you know, good nerves, good energy. I've been here before. Uh, I can't wait to perform for you guys, man. And you mentioned something that I love, that if you're not going to do it to be the best, then why do it? That's awesome. How do you bring that mindset into the game? Because short notice, full camp, whatever, it's great that you have this type of energy, even on a media day. Oh, yeah, man. That, that's the thing. I love this, man. It's one of those things, like, for me, like I said, if you're not aiming to be the world champ or you have no vision of being the world champ, I, I just I couldn't see yourself doing it. It's a really hard job, a really fun job, but it is a job. Awesome, my man. Thank you for your time. Hey, thank Good luck you. Welcome, Saturday. Terrence, right here. Uh, you mentioned you're the most confident. You you got a lot of things rolling for you right now. In uh, as a prediction, what should the fans expect to see you on Saturday? As a prediction, uh, it's a bantamweight fight, right? So we'll be fast, we'll be furious. Uh, but I think I bring a lot more power than he's used to. I think when I touch him, it's gonna be different. Uh, when we're wrestling, he's gonna be like, "Man, this guy's strong." So uh, I'm looking to really just dominate the fight, win the fight every which way. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions?